Hey everyone, this is Chase, the Rocky Mountain HVMC, and today we're going to show you how to properly measure your head and get the correct size for your next helmet. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. So today we're going to cover a pretty simple topic. We're going to show you how to properly measure your head to make sure you get the correct size and fit for your next helmet. We're also going to give you some tips and tricks to help make that process a little bit easier. Now, what we're going to cover today is going to go for all the different helmet styles that are out there from street, your half helmets, dual sport adventure, and for motocross, it's gonna cover all those categories. Now this might not, or this might seem like a no-brainer for a lot of people out there, but the fact is, there's still a lot of people that we see riding that don't have the correct fit when it comes to their helmet. And we can tell you right now, that in order for your helmet to do its job and give you the best safety possible, it needs to fit correctly. Now just because you wear a size medium in one helmet doesn't mean you're going to wear a size medium in another brand's helmet. Now most helmet manufacturers out there, they try their best to have their helmets be very consistent with how the other helmets in the industry fit, but every helmet has a different shell shape, you've got different EPS liners, different safety features that make every helmet fit a little bit different. So it's very important to measure correctly and use sizing guides to get the size that's going to be best for you. Before we get started, let's just talk about the three head shapes real quick. You've got three main ones. You've got medium or intermediate oval, which is gonna be the most common head shape here in the US. That, that means you're a little bit longer front to back as you are side to side. You have your long oval, which is meaning you're pretty long front to back compared to side to side. And then you have your round head shapes where you're basically the same distance all the way around your entire head. Now in the US, most helmets are built to fit an intermediate oval head shape, just because that's the most common size. So like I said earlier, all helmet manufacturers, they do, they try to do a great job of staying consistent so that their size helmet will fit very close to other manufacturers. Now, if you're not quite sure what your helmet shape or your head shape is, well, a couple ways you can do that. Just looking at it, you can kind of have your best guesstimate. If you really want to find out, you could have your buddy take a picture of the top of your head to see what the shape looks like. Now, like I said, no two helmets fit the same. That is why we have our fit guarantee. We want you to be happy with how your helmet fits. We want the size to be correct. So no matter what helmet you buy from Rocky Mountain, if you get it after trying it on and doing the steps that we're going to talk about today, if you still feel like it doesn't fit you exactly how you need it to, send it back in brand new unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange for the same helmet in a different size or a completely different helmet just to make sure you get exactly what you're looking for. So with that out of the way, let's pull in TJ and let's show you how to properly measure your head. All right, so now we have our good friend TJ in the studio today, and we're gonna show you how to properly measure. So first things first, you gotta have the right tools to do the job. We recommend a soft measuring tape. This is gonna make life a whole lot easier. If you don't have one of these, you can use a piece of rope, you can use a shoelace, really whatever you have to do this. You just wanna be mindful that you don't want something that's gonna to stretch too much because that can give you an inaccurate measurement when you're measuring. But once you have your measuring tool, it's this simple. You're gonna measure around the circumference of the head about one inch above the eyebrows. That's gonna give you the largest measurement around the head. Once you have that measurement, you go to the helmet that you're looking at, you look at their sizing chart, and you look on there, you can have inches or centimeters, it will show you what size helmet you fall into. That's all you gotta do, it's that simple. Now TJ here, we've already measured his head, he comes in at 21 and a quarter inches. So he's on the smaller end. In fact, for this MAV4 with MIPS we have on the table, he fits for a size extra small. So TJ, go ahead and put that helmet on for us. So when you do try on a helmet, it's important, do up the chin strap while you're doing this as well, and we'll explain why here in just a second. Now, when you first put on a helmet, most times they're pretty snug when you're pulling this over top of your head. And a lot of people sometimes will start to put a helmet on, they're thinking, there's no way I'm getting this on there. That is okay, that's actually pretty normal. Most helmets are pretty dang snug when you put them over the head. A little tip is that when you do put it on, you can take the chin straps, kind of pull them out, that will compress the cheek pads a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to get on top of your head. With TJ having this helmet on, this helmet fits him correctly. And the way that you'll know if your helmet fits correctly are these indicators. If TJ takes his hand and he grabs a chin bar, he tries to move that helmet up and down or side to side, there's not very much play there. The cheek pads are nice and snug, the crown of the helmet fits well, but one thing to keep in mind, usually when most people put on a helmet for the first time, the first thing that they notice is how tight the cheek pads feel. We call them chipmunk cheeks. 
It's totally normal. You want your cheek pads to be snug. If you feel like you could chew gum or some food with your helmet on, chances are your cheek pads probably aren't tight enough. But since you notice the cheek pads right away, a lot of people don't really pay much attention to the comfort liner. So what we recommend, a little tip to help you out, is take the cheek pads out of the helmet, put the helmet on and just focus on how that comfort liner fits. You want to have good even pressure all the way around your head and same thing. You don't want to feel like you have too much wiggle room there because for this helmet to do its job, it needs to fit securely all the way around your head. Once you've done that, put the cheek pads in there and if you feel like everything is fitting nice and snug, you've got yourself a winner. And what's cool is that depending on the helmet that you're looking at, a lot of helmets you can interchange the comfort liner and cheek pads to fine tune the fit and get exactly how you want it. Now on the opposite end, if you put on a helmet, this is how you can know it's too big. What we just explained, take that helmet, move it up and down side to side. If you feel like you have some voids around the comfort liner, too much wiggle room there, you'll feel that. You'll feel like the helmet can lift up off your head too easily. You've got some side to side play. That means your helmet is too big and that's when you want to take advantage of our fit guarantee to exchange it for a different size to make sure that it does fit correctly. Now one tip that we have as far as comfort goes is when you get your helmet and you put on for the first time, wear that thing for a while. 30 minutes, could be an hour, two hours, however long you feel is necessary. Do the chores around the house, watch some TV, just don't go right in it, don't get it hot and sweaty. But after a certain amount of time, if there are any hot spots or any pressure points that might bug you, they're going to reveal themselves and that way you'll know if you have a helmet that's comfortable that you can wear for an entire day. What's cool is there are other manufacturers like Bell and Alpine Stars that make liners that are either are adjustable or are designed to actually fit a wider variety of head shapes. But wear it for a while, make sure it's comfortable. Some of the best advice we can give is word of mouth. You can ask your friends that have the helmet that maybe you're interested in. You can go to our product page. You can ask questions on the product page and get answers from customers who have bought and are using that helmet you're shopping for or just read writer reviews. There's a lot of great ways to get good information to know what head shape is going to be a good fit for that specific helmet. But once you've checked off all the boxes that we talked about today, you've got yourself a winner. You have a helmet that you know fits correctly and will give you the best protection possible. If you do have more questions or comments, we want to get those answers, so leave those below. If you like this video, make sure to get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. We all got a lot of great content that we're constantly releasing, so subscribe and stay up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.